Hey guys, it's Vaughn and today I partner with JCPenney to bring you this Get Ready With Me look featuring JCPenney women's denim plus this highly requested top knot bun and natural glam makeup look. This is by far the easiest hairstyle that I do when I want to look cute but I don't have much time. So I am starting fresh out of the shower with damp hair. First thing I want to do is make the hair more manageable so I've already added my conditioner. I'm just going to brush the hair up using a paddle brush. The idea is to get all of the hair as close to the crown as possible and my hair is a little bit more manageable when it is wet so this was perfect. Next I'm going to apply gel all around the perimeter just to make sure the hair is nice and smoothed down and then I'm just going to secure it with a ouchless hair tie. The other way I like to do this is on blow dried hair but today I'm showing you guys the absolute quickest easiest method and that's on damp hair. Once I get the hair tie secured it's my opportunity to go ahead and detangle the remaining hair, twist it up roll it and secure it with yet another hair tie. I'm going for the sleek top knot look so I'm definitely going to be applying a silky scarf but before I do I just want to smooth everything down with my bristle brush and brush out my baby hairs. I feel like this step is definitely the key in having a very sleek ponytail look especially if your hair is prone to frizziness so in the meantime I'm going to do my makeup. Starting off on a moisturized face I'm going to go in and color correct with my favorite color correcting concealer and then I'm going to blend it out so that it looks very natural. Next I'm going to apply a creamy foundation and then I'm going to blend that all the way out and then on top of that my highlighter concealer. The highlighter step is really the key to making this look like a glam look so I'm going to carefully blend that out and then set everything with my powder. Next I'm going to do the opposite of highlighting and that's contouring. I'm just going to be applying a darker cream to all of the areas where the shadows would naturally be. And as a final step to my foundation, I'm going to apply a powder all over just to set everything and then I'm going to blend in my contour. I'm just filling in my brows to improve the shape and then I'm moving on to my eyes. My secret to a natural glam look is to acknowledge and recognize all of the highs and lows that would naturally occur on the face. So I'm applying a medium brown to my crease. brown color addresses the natural low for the natural high. I'm going to be applying this really natural looking highlighter directly to my lid with my fingertip. Once the lids are done, I'm going to dust away all of the excess setting powder. Then I'm going to mattify my contour by applying a matte bronzer. Finishing off the eyes with a winged eyeliner, I'm going to apply some blush as well. That's probably my favorite part. I always put too much. And then I'm going to apply some natural looking false eyelashes. I'm using a set of wispy lashes because they look really natural but they also look really glam. So I love wearing these. These are pretty much my go-to. And then I'm using that same highlighter I used for my eyeshadow. And then on my lower lash line, I'm going to use the same eyeshadow I used for my crease. I'm going to blend that out really, really well with a fluffy brush, apply some lower lash mascara and I'm going to mute out my lips with a nude liner, apply some lip gloss, some more lip gloss to really shine it up, and then I am all done with these lips. Finally, I'm going to apply a setting spray. This is going to ensure that my makeup lasts and looks really nice and natural on my face. And now I am all done, you guys. This is a cute makeup look. I really like it. Now we can move on to revealing the hair. So about 25 minutes have elapsed in real time, so that's how long our scarf has been on. So the hair is set and ready to go. All I'm going to do is just make sure that my bun is shaped properly and I'm going to apply some bronzer around my hairline and that is it. We're good to go. Got this really cool jacket in olive. It kind of has like that military look to it. This is from a a and I got it on sale. And I love these Arizona Jean Company camis. You guys, a must have. Such great quality. I picked up a pair of the Arizona Jean Company super high rise skinny jeans. And they have that distressed worn look that I love. But here's the part that I really love about these jeans, y'all. They conform to my curves. I am a petite curvy girl and so I always struggle finding jeans that are small enough to fit my waist but give me a little room in the hip and butt region as well. These jeans are super comfortable and I don't have that gap at my lower back. I was super impressed by the fit of these and like I said they come in a ton of sizes. I live for a good pair of denim that fit my curves the right way, makes me feel comfortable and confident in my clothing. So let me show you guys how I put this look together. So it's already a kind of tough look with the military jacket and everything, so I'm going to add my hoop earrings and these combat boots with a slight platform. It's really going to bring in the feminine appeal and give me a little height. And speaking of height, I always say that the top knot bun makes you look a little leaner. And another thing I love about this jacket is that on the inside there are drawstrings so that you can cinch the waist, making it look even more feminine. I love it. 
you guys let me know what you think of this look it's a cute tough look but it's also extremely comfortable I was really impressed by my JCPenney finds today and I encourage you all to shop these looks for yourself by going online or visiting your nearest JCPenney store so I am already and headed out to a casual lunch so I will talk to you guys in my next one bye